Carbon dioxide is a clear, odorless gas that makes your drinks fizz, something we exhale every time we take a breath. But could it now make your abdomen flat? A recent North Northwestern University study found injecting carbon dioxide into belly fat could reduce fat for up to six months. So this is something known as carboxytherapy. Is that your new shot to a six pack? So these findings were published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, the first controlled trial testing carbon dioxide gas injections to reduce fat. Now, carboxytherapy, Drew, you know this, claims to eliminate that fat around the abdomen. You talk a lot Some about cutaneous the- Subcutaneous fat, so it's so important that we clarify which belly fat we're talking about. This is what you can pinch. Pinch yeah. an inch or two or three or four, or whatever you got going on there. It's the subcutaneous fat. So they're injecting carbon dioxide subcutaneously, immediately below the dermis, safely above the abdominal wall, away from all your inner organs and all that stuff, and selectively treating the fat cells. They're not killing them. They're shrinking them. I guess the carbon dioxide causes them to leak in a certain way. Leakage of the contents of the fat cells is then picked up by your lymphatics and goes away. Hypothetically, this how, is- How are they actually doing this? I am always very concerned when you're injecting gases into the tissues right. because if that, those gases can get into your blood vessels and create issues, after six months, most of the results had worn off. So to me, why are, even if this does theoretically work, over the short well, term, I'm not going in every six months to have someone injecting carbon dioxide in my subcutaneous no. fat. That's me. It's just, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it. And also, this was just a small study, too. It was 16 individuals, and these 16 individuals either had a normal body mass index or they were overweight. These weren't obese people, technically, so right. that was also the group. So I agree, I wouldn't do it. Maybe if somebody wants a little, I guess, Oh, I wonder what I would look like in that dress. And but, then but they get is, to see, and then it kind of jump starts them, and they say, I really want to exercise so I can get to that on my own, maybe. I don't would know. Would you use this as no. opposed to Drew, and I'll lean on your expertise here. You can, you can melt fat, me. you can freeze fat, you tell me. You can suck it out, and I know you're an old school liposuction guy, yeah. but let's just say there is a massive event that's important to you, but you're not overly conscious of your body image, but you just want to just try something. We're Spanx. What, no. what, what, and then, <laughs> I, I you think that's a great Spanx idea. Spanx are amazing. Spanx rocks. They will do amazing well, things. Where does it live on that spectrum of yeah. freezing, melting, well, suctioning? That's such a great question, and guess what? Call me old school, but I love good old-fashioned liposuction. That being said, I think that all of these modalities do have a place. If you're talking about real small, so do you areas think carboxytherapy therapy may it that may, may end up showing yes, up for, for small small, small areas? Do you I, think I, we need more studies before people jump into it? Yes. The caveat is, and I, I do liposuction. That's how I make my living, but it's not a substitute for diet mm -hmm. and exercise. It's for, quote, those figure faults, those areas that are not responding to diet and exercise that may in fact be uh, genetic, hereditary, you got them from mom and dad a little bit too much in the hips or the backside or the love handles. And you raised such a good point earlier, and I know you're on this bandwagon. People forget that the subcutaneous fat that you can pinch it may be unsightly in the sense that you want to get rid of that. And yes, liposuction will help with that. But the fat that you can't see, the visceral belly fat living deep within your abdomen, I call it toxic goop, surrounds your internal organs. It is biochemically active. That is the fat that you need to worry about. You can't liposuction it, you can't freeze it, you can't heat it. The only way you're gonna eliminate that is through changing your diet. And exactly. that's, that's why if, if something like if carboxytherapy becomes a thing and someone wants to do it, great. Yeah. But don't forget about don't forget about the visceral fat in there. That's the stuff that'll kill you.